You are my angel. You are my goddess. You are my best friend. I am in awe that you are in my life and that you say yes to me. I chose Taos because this is such sacred land to me. I lead retreats here. I do ceremony here. And this small little town has so much history as of all of New Mexico. Lance and I both are so in love with New Mexico. But this space, especially here at El Monte Sagrado, it's just a premier first class resort in the middle of a tiny little town. I was at a retreat in California and I just kept having this feeling I was supposed to leave. Finally listened to the voice about two days into this retreat. I wasn't feeling well. I checked out. As soon as I drove up onto Pacific Coast Highway, the symptoms went away. I thought, okay, I'm just going to follow this feeling wherever it takes me. And so I look at air flights and I pick one connecting through Vegas. And I was conceived in Las Vegas and my dad passed away, but he was a Elvis impersonator, so Vegas is like really important to me. And so I get on um, this flight, and as soon as I turn, bulkhead was open. I'm thinking there's going to be no seats. It's a Southwest flight. And um, there sits Lance in the first seat, and he and I look at each other, and I'm like, wow, he's good looking. I'll sit next to him. <laughs> The, the beginning of the day was horrible, but the best part of that day was sitting on the plane, waiting, who was going to sit next to me. I knew it was going to be full, someone was going to have to sit down next to me. And one of the last people on the airplane comes around the corner and it's this beautiful woman. And uh, I looked at her, I was like, oh wow, she's really pretty, and I looked down. So I said, is the seat available? He said, yeah, and he seemed real shy. There was a lady sitting in the window seat, and she helped her get her seat belt extender on. And I was like, oh wow, she's beautiful and she's kind. I had earplugs in, I was kind of in my own world. And then a few minutes later I noticed her tattoo on her forearm and I was like, oh, and she's deep. And then I proceeded to spend the next 30 minutes trying to figure out how to talk to her because I was so nervous. Because I don't know how to talk to girls. I mean, didn't really date. We take off and I had this conversation going on about him. Oh, he seems grumpy, he must have lost money. Or <laughs> took, took the next 30 minutes trying to figure out how to talk to her. And so finally, we're coming into Albuquerque and they say, you know, put your things away. And so he asked me um, if I'm a yoga teacher because I was reading a yoga manual. I said, are you a yoga instructor? And that started it. She started talking to me and we started talking about deep stuff in just a short flight, 30 minute flight. So he said, what's the name of your company again? And he went to write it down. So I handed him a business card and I hurried up off the plane. And then I was like, hmm, I wonder if she sees me as a client. And then uh, she got off the plane and she took off. And I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. She wanted to get away from me. Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure and the most intimate of human relationships. It is the joyful uniting of two people whose care, affection, and understanding have flowered into a deep and abiding love. Lance and Jana, no ceremony can create your marriage, only the two of you can. Through practicing love, patience, devotion, and grit. Jana and Lance wish to thank each of you for being here today to honor this moment. In a world that time moves so fast and demands so much overwhelming demands, they are honored and humbled by your presence. And on this beautiful evening, with a celebration of nature all afternoon, we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate an act of deep love, partnership, and friendship. Lance and Jana, in their devotion, respect, and love for each other, are uniting in the bond of marriage and dedicating themselves to each other's happiness and well-being.
The sun never says to the earth, you owe me. A love like that lights up the whole world. You've lit up my whole world since the moment I met you. And I hope to light up yours for the rest of your life. up this morning at 5.30 and I was nervous. And I wasn't nervous about marrying you, I was nervous about what I was going to say. And then I thought, it doesn't matter what I say, because you know me, you see me. And what you've brought into my life are peace and love, like I've never believed was possible, and joy. And with these three rings, I'm committing to your peace giving you love and giving you joy for the rest of our days. <laughs>